fucking shredded, eating 5,000 calories a fucking day, and you can't lose weight eating 800. You know why? Because I fucking do copious amounts of activity every fucking day, and you're a fat, lazy cunt that just sits on the fucking internet and sits around all day and doesn't stand up. That's how. It's called hard fucking work, you fucking little bitch. Look at my face. Fucking burnt. Where have I been? Not on the internet. I've been out all fucking day doing activity. All fucking day. Okay, there's only one way to crank up your metabolism, retards. It's called activity and fucking food. And then more activity and more food. And more activity and more food. And your weight doesn't change. You crank up the fucking activity. You start by standing. You stand the fuck up, okay? So now I'm gonna get into how I fucking came up with a Metaflex snake diet. When all this fucking virus shit happened, I knew the fucking gym was gonna close, the fucking restaurants were gonna fucking close, so I fattened up like a motherfucker for two weeks because I'm like, well, I might as well do a cut since everything's gonna be closed anyway, okay? So, I got up to about 195 pounds eating a fucking massive meal a day at this fucking buffet, okay? And then I started to cut. So right off the bat, 72 hour fast, you fat fucking pigs. Right off the bat, 72 hour fast on fucking snake juice, okay? That's how I start everybody off when I coach them. 72 fucking hour fast, man or mom, to fucking break your fear of fucking not eating, okay? Once you got through that, we're good. Okay, okay, then we can start doing some real fucking dieting. Then I get through a 72. Okay, then I was fucking going fucking like low carb for a bit because I was a fat pig. Okay, I'll never do that again, ever. I'll never fuck cut carbs ever fucking again. Not for a sustained period of time. Okay, but anyway, I went low carb, about 2,000 cal, fucking all mad, chucking in a 48 and a 72 for a bit. Got down to about 170 some pounds, mid 170s doing that, okay? Pretty standard routine, strict old mad you fat pigs. Counting my calories, I know I'm at a deficit of 2,000. At the time, my maintenance is probably a measly bitch ass 2,500. Okay, a bitch ass 2,500. I'll get into that later why it's a bitch ass 2,500. I'm eating 5,000 now. Obviously, a guy that's eating 2,500 is a little bitch compared to somebody who's eating 5,000 and burning it off. Who's doing more activity? Who's more of a fucking engine? The guy eating 5,000 that stays ripped. Okay? So I got down there. Then I fucking got my fucking goddamn bike stolen, all right? So what that did is it made me do a lot more walking. Okay, I started walking a ton. I had my walking, fucking standing, just standing. Burns calories of the fucking ass. Don't sit, don't lean. Okay, you're gonna fucking be able to fucking hammer back another fucking thousand cal a day just doing that. Get off the fucking internet. Get the fuck outside, you fat, lazy pig. I stand eating. I don't sit when I eat. Okay? I stand all fucking day. I catch myself. I don't sit. So anyway, my fucking mountain bike got taken. And I'm like, well, fuck. Okay, I'm Mr. Minimalist, so I'm just going to walk everywhere. So then what happened? Started doing some long fucking slow ass snake walking, I call it. Okay, slow ass snake walking. So what I was doing is just basically staying vertical. And all of a sudden... I'm kind of like at about 170, fucking bump my calories up. I was eating fucking kind of a low protein, moderate carb, fucking moderate fat, old mad routine basically. Started doing all this fucking movement now. Fucking started fucking getting hungry again. So I started losing weight again. I was at about 170, fucking weight started to drop again. Fucking bump the food up. Next thing you know, I was at fucking 3,500 cal. And I'm still cutting weight. Activity's going up. I feel better. My metabolism's crank. Get in a better shape. Started moving more. Then I went and bought a fucking BMX. Okay? I bought a fucking BMX and I put a huge fucking chain on the cut so they can't fucking rip it off this time. Okay? 
That's like my horse, okay? I fucking ride that bike to the grocery store. I fucking go everywhere. I don't drive. I drive the tiniest amount. If there's a bunch of garbage here from the girls I gotta take to the dump, that's it. That is it, okay? I don't sit. I fucking treat it like I'm hunting, okay? So I'm losing weight. Calories are going up. Fuck, I'm like, holy fuck. This activity's doing something. It's actually doing, of course it is, you fucking lazy cunts. No one moves, okay? Metabolism's going up. I'm recovering faster. Fucking getting stronger. Building muscle. I'm getting stronger on my fucking calisthenics. I'm training in a playground, okay? All these people that think that this fucking low intensity cardio like waste muscle, you're an idiot. A fucking idiot. Okay, more fucking food, more fucking activity. You'll recover faster from the weight training. It's fucking simple. You can't just cut fucking calories forever. Okay, you can't just fast forever, long fast all the time. Your metabolism will take a fucking dive. A fucking dive. This is where I'm going to get into this now. So what happened, the activity got so high, so high that now... I was eating 3,500 cal, but that's a huge lull. That's a huge meal. I have a huge lull after that when I was eating like starch and shit, right? So then I had to break it into two meals, okay? So now I'm doing two meals on about a six to eight hour window, and now I'm like 168 pounds. And it got to the point where fuck, I needed more food. I fucking was waking up in the middle of the night, starving to death, still losing weight. Because I was standing and snake walking all fucking day and doing hills on that fucking BMX. Hills on the BMX. I can't sit down on that fucking BMX. Okay, crazy amounts of activity. Bear crawls in the field. Fucking pull-ups. Move. Your body was meant to move, you fat fucks. Not sit. Not fucking sit at your fucking carcinogenic death job and your stupid fucking education to waste time. See... We're trying to like learn how to be healthy when we already just naturally would be healthy fucking a thousand years ago. Now we're trying to learn. We're sitting to learn how to be healthy. Stand up, dummy. We're ruining our eyes and sitting to learn. Stand up and look at the distance. Keep your health. You don't need to fucking read books to be healthy. You just live naturally, you fucking retards. So now I fucking wake up in the middle of fucking night. I get up to where I'm doing 5,000 cal a day and I'm still eating the basic meal, meat, meat and fucking some fat and carbs, okay? Three meals I got up to and fucking eating that in like an eight hour window so I can still get some fasting time in. And I'm like, fuck me, this ain't gonna work, okay? Because I have lulls after those meals and then, then if you stretch it out, then you're not getting any fasting time so your digestive system doesn't get a break. You never eat at night though. I never eat at fucking night, ever. That's when your GH gets way up. That's when you heal your guts. If you have fucking gut issues, you don't, don't eat at fucking night, dummies. Before bed, I'm talking. If you're eating a meal, fucking three, four, five, six hours before bed, depending on how big the meal is. If it's a fat fucking pig and you're on a fucking low cal routine to start with, fucking maybe like three hours, always move after the fucking refeed. So anyway, I got up to 5,000 cal a day and I had to eat three fucking times because I had to keep the activity up and I didn't want to lull, so I had to break the meals up. So then I'm like, let's try something. Let's try a high density diet, high caloric density diet, low volume. That's how I came up the Metaflex diet, okay? And it's metabolically flexible, so I'm fucking dousing myself with high calorically dense fucking fruit in the morning. Basically dates, honey, fucking maple syrup, fucking tons of berries, okay? I fucking put cayenne pepper on that and shit. You can do whatever you want. Essentially, it's a whole pile of fucking fruit and things derived from fruit, okay? Sugar, and I hit it when my metabolism is hot in the fucking morning, okay? Usually, as late as noon, okay? As late as noon. Early as maybe nine sometimes. I don't crash. I can train like a banshee right after I ate that fucking meal. It's calorically dense and low volume and it fucking satiates the fuck out of you. I got energy all day, okay? I never got a headache, okay?
day my guts are healthy, mind you. So if you're a coffee addict, quit. There's no caffeine. Coffee is shit. No caffeine. Nothing. Food. Okay? I'll start my day off with fucking, usually I'll fucking go hunting. Maybe go to the grocery store, grab a fucking couple things if I need some fruit or whatever. On my bike, I'll sprint there. Okay? Sometimes I'll walk. Come back. Warm up good. Sometimes I'll have a cheap stationary bike here. I'll roast fucking three, four hundred cal on that before I eat that sugar meal. Hit the sugar meal. Walk again. Fucking the veins just start blowing out of my arms. Because my fucking goddamn metabolism revs up so high I'm getting like hot and sweating. Okay, I got so much energy it's like I'm going to fucking goddamn have a fucking heart attack. It's insane. And it lasts. You don't fucking hit the wall. You don't. Because there's enough volume there. This is a high performance diet, high caloric density, okay? Then I go my, do my fucking playground session, pull ups, dips, all that's improving, all my fucking rep numbers. High intensity, low volume, like I always preach, high frequency, okay? Then I train all day, do hills on the bike, you name it, fuck, I'll fucking just, I'm always moving. Then the second meal, meat and fat. Kilo bacon, kilo, kilo ribeye steak, steak, douse it with salt. Okay, so, and that is how I did it. Dense, calorically dense. Because then I get away with a low volume meal. So I get big calories, low volume. It keeps me from having a lull. I feel great. I can eat a kilo of bacon and go fucking goddamn swim a goddamn mile within like 15 minutes eating that. You can't do that. That's 4,000 cal, that kilo of bacon, plus like two fucking cans of fucking sardines or some shit. Get a little fish oil in. That's like 4,000 cal. I can go train right 15 minutes after. Try doing 4,000 cal on fucking carbs, idiot. On starch. Cat. Fuck me having a dirt nap. Okay? And it's metabolically flexible because you dump the carbs in the morning, straight fat at night and meat. And then the next day, you're, you're already burning fat again. Like, you're burning fat the whole time if you're at a deficit. You don't need to be in fucking ketosis to burn body fat. Okay? But what it does is it keeps you able to burn fat efficiently for energy. So on the days where I take a rest or less, there's less intense activity, intense, I'll skip the sugar meal. I'll just eat the fucking meat and fat meal. And I'll eat that meal. That's a big meal for me. Okay, I'll eat that five hours, four hours before I go to bed, and I'll always log a ton, a ton of activity after that meal. Okay, sometimes the intensity might be a little less, depends how I feel. Sometimes, like, I bike 30 fucking miles one night on a BMX. On a BMX, 30 miles not sitting. Okay, 30 fucking miles, I didn't fucking, like, two hours and 20 minutes or some shit. Started off slow. Okay, slow, and then at the end, I had so much energy, I wrapped it up a bit. That's another thing. Slow it the fuck down. Slow it down. We're not trying to lose weight yesterday. I'm talking the cardio and shit. Your stupid orange theory class that you do for one hour ain't gonna do shit on the grand scheme of things compared to standing up all day. If you go to that orange theory bullshit class, okay, the hit's good, it's good. I use it for conditioning. I don't care about, it's not for weight loss. The weight loss happens on the day. Stand the fuck up. Slow walking. Save your feet. Don't get blisters. I'll hit the punching bag. Okay? I'll just tap the bag. Pop, 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 pop. I'll tap it, tap it, tap it. And then sometimes I'll throw some bombs, but I'll just tap it for like fucking hour and a half. Two hours. Yesterday I went two fucking hours. Okay? That was after I ate a bunch of bacon. Just tap that bag. And you're not going to beat your hands up. And any, an old man can do that. You're just moving. Move your body. The body was meant to move you fat pigs. Not just sit there. Not just sit and die. Most of you are already dead. I can tell when somebody's living their life if they tell me their calorie count. If it's a woman and she's saying, yeah, I eat 800 calories a day. And I maintain you're not living. You're not doing anything, you fucking retard. Now that, going back to how I'm coaching people now, okay? I'm teaching people how to eat again, okay? Count the fucking calories. They matter, you retard. You think I can be able to eat 5,000 calories? I don't give a fuck how I'm eating it. How the fuck do you think you can eat 5,000 calories if you're not active, you fucking dummy? Fuck. So what I do, I start people off 72-hour fast. I'm asking about their activity and shit. 
Sometimes I'll go as low as 800 cal for a woman, however she wants to eat it. Oh, mad, two meals, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, don't snack. Okay, on the day, the calorie counts number one. Number one. So she might do that five days in a row, let's say it's OMAD. Five days OMAD, maybe eating at four o'clock at night, whatever, just don't eat before bed, dummy, and always walk after you eat. Go to bed empty, dummy. That's when your body heals, it's in your sleep. You don't want a gut full of fucking food at night. Then what I'll do is I'll get the fat pig to fucking do fucking maybe a 72 once a week. Five days on that, learning to eat again, counting the fucking calories. Start maybe at 800 to a 72 on snake juice on the weekend. Maybe she does a few cycles of that. I don't even give a fuck if she misses a 72, as long as she doesn't go over the fucking calorie count on the old mad days. And then if she's losing weight in a good clip, bump it up to 900. Okay, bump it up, more activity. Metabolism just went up. Burn fat faster, fuck. Okay, bump it up, metabolism went up. Okay, that's why we got the girls at the house eating OMAD now. Because they have more energy. Like Maya just didn't have enough energy to move fasting long. It's too heavy. I, as soon as I started giving her the meal at ate about a thousand cal, we could walk more. So we got more out of it because she burnt more than the thousand on the walks. Okay, She's, she'll lose more weight that way. And just happier, okay? And fuck, a lot of people, like if you're fucking moving all the time, throw in the 72. Okay, throw in the 48. Now obviously, if I'm dealing with sick people and shit, I still cut carbs if they're fucked up. Now if you're a type 2 diabetic, that's your fault, dummy. Cut the carbs, lose the fucking weight, heal your liver, then you can fucking maybe do something on my meta, my fucking meta, fucking meta flat snake diet. Okay, down the road. But at that point, you fucking gotta cut sugar because you're fucked up because you're a fucking lazy cunt. All right? That's how I do it. Bump the calories, bump the activity. Still losing weight, bump it up, bump it up. Count the calories on the day. 800's a good start for most of you fat female pigs. Okay, if you start getting up to 1,000, you might break it into two 500 cal meals. 1,200, that's good. Now you fucking know that your fucking metabolism is going up. That's how I got to 5,000, same idea. Wrapped up the activity, wrapped up the fucking food. Okay? Fuck, that's how you fucking crank up your fucking metabolism and recovery. You fucking do more work. Put in the fucking work. I've been enabling you fuckers for too fucking long with the fasting, but then you all yo-yo. Of course you yo-yo because your metabolism takes a fucking even worse dive than it already did from you sitting on your cunt because now you're just not eating for so long that, and you can't fucking come back into it without just binging like a fucking retard. Now, you could do a long fast if you have some self-control coming back into it and you stay at a strict calorie count of like maybe eight or 900 cal. If you're a man, you know, maybe 1,200, 1,400, 1,600 old man, maybe cut into two meals, maybe 1,000, depending on how fat you are, okay? If you're a real fat guy that can hardly even walk, maybe you're 600 pounds, but you can walk some, maybe you might do fucking 1,000 a day. And then a 72 once a week. Learn how to eat again, you fucking idiots. Eventually, when you get lean, you have to eat every day. You have to. Okay? You might be able to do a 36-hour fast, maybe a 48, but you'll lose sleep. Sleep's number one. As soon as you get ripped, right now, I can't even do fuck. I can't even go two nights without sleep. I can't. The second night, I won't, or without food. Second night, I won't sleep. Useless. Fucking useless for me right now. Okay? Learn how to eat again. Count the fucking calories, you idiot. Fucking have it in a deficit. Don't just say I counted my calories. Counting calories doesn't make you lose weight, fuck face. You gotta fucking be in a deficit. It's like I counted my calories. I'm at 3,000. Of course you're not gonna fucking lose weight at 3,000, you fat warthog. Because you're not doing anything. Stand up. Stop leaning. Okay? And then stay on a routine where you're eating most days at maintenance or less on the eating days. And then throw in a 72 or a 48. When you start the snake diet, you can even stretch that first fast. If you feel good, go four days, five days. If you're trying to detox off coffee, I've talked about this a million times before, fucking cut it right then. Fuck, do a snake juice fast first, maybe fucking ease into some old mad days at 800, make sure you're still cutting weight. If you're losing weight really quick, bump the calories. Don't just stay at the deficit forever. Okay, this is why keto's shit at a fucking caloric deficit. Keto at a caloric deficit is shit. Your metabolism takes a fucking diet. The only time you even get away with eating low carb is if you're fucking eating, eating maintenance. Okay, truth be told, 
Not one person on the planet, not one woman, if you fucking aren't torching 1,500 calories a day, you're a lazy fucking whore. You're a fat, lazy whore. If you're a guy and you're not torching at least 2,500 a day, if you're gaining weight on that, you're a fat, lazy, useless cunt. A useless cunt. Okay? You should be burning cows. You're just meant to move. That's what's going to crank up your fucking lifespan, idiot. Being lean and strong. Fast metabolism. How the fuck do you think you fucking heal? Okay? That's how it works. So then I got to the point where my calorie count was so high from the activity that I had to go to dense foods, which made sense in the fucking, in history. We would have never ate low calorie foods. What a waste of gut space. Okay, that's where you need to be is where I am. That would be your goal in life is to be where I'm at, where you're literally so active that you have to eat so much fucking food that you gotta go back to a natural lifestyle where you're eating high, calorically dense foods and not trying to just fill your gut up with a bunch of rubbish to keep the hunger away, idiot. Okay, like fucking piles of low-calorie fucking keto vegetables. It wasn't natural to eat that. Naturally fucking dates. Okay, we weren't just gonna go eat kale and shit out of the bush. Okay, there's no taste. There's no sweetness. We would have went for low-hanging fruit and meat and we would have never been eating them mixed together. We might have been hunting, eating berries on the hunt, and then killed an animal and feasted on the animal that night. Exactly all I'm eating. The Metaflex fucking diet. That's your goal. Get to there. Where you're fucking around with crazy calorie counts, not gaining weight, where you need to eat more calorically dense fucking food. Okay? There's only one way to crank your metabolism up. Not all this bullshit crap you fucking want to buy a new. You got to fucking do activity. Doesn't have to be all intense. Steady activity all fucking day and eat accordingly. Eat accordingly. Don't overeat to your activity level. You fucking go, go. You're losing weight. You feel real fucking hungry. You've lost a bunch of weight that week. Bump the calories up on the day. 800, 900, 1,000, 1,200, 13, 14 if you're a woman. Start maybe at 8 if you're a fat pig as you fucking start cranking it up. If you're a guy, maybe start as low if you're a little fucking weasel. Maybe 1,200. Two 600 cal meals, one meal OMAD, 1300, 1400, 15, 16, bump it up, bump it up. Fuck, you might do the 72 and then just pull it out all together and just eat every day. Okay, if you got health issues, obviously there's other protocols. I use, I use low carb like keto as medicine. Carnivore as medicine because you should never have to eat that way unless you have a fucked up gut from coffee and antibiotics. Okay, that's how it works. Fucking eat most days, count the fucking calories. Calories matter, idiot. Idiot. Of course food volume fucking matters. Fuck people are stupid. Of course food volume matters. By saying calories don't matter with weight, you're a fucking retard. You're a fucking idiot. Okay, you move your fucking cunt. I'm sick of enabling you fucks with just fasting. Move. Crank up your metabolism. Get healthy. Get in fucking shape, you fat pile of shit. Till next time, stop fucking eating fatty.